you guys, it's Christina. I am so excited about this video today because we are going to be making, are you ready? Pumpkin pie. <laughs> so I have festively decorated myself in my awesome pumpkin pie costume so we can make this delicious, super sweet, super easy, super fast, and low fat recipe, fully raw, just for you. Hope you're excited because this is one of my favorite recipes for the holidays that you can share with family and friends to get them to eat a healthy type of pie. And I will just tell you that when I said this to my mother the other day, her mouth dropped open and she said, don't tell your grandmother this is better than hers. <laughs> so I'm really excited to share this recipe with you. Here are the ingredients that you're gonna need. You will need about two to three cups of raw sugar pie pumpkins. And these are a little bit different because they're baby pumpkins that are a little bit sweeter and they're edible. And you can find these organic at Rawfully Organic. Three pounds of dates. Sweet, juicy, delicious dates. Oh my goodness. Awesome sauce. You will also need cinnamon, ginger. You can use a dried spice or you can use a pinky of the fresh ginger one and a half to two cups of pecans, and one ooey gooey ripe persimmon. I don't know if you can see how ripe this persimmon is, but literally it looks like it's about to pop in my hand and when I touch it, it's soft on the side. This is when a persimmon is truly ripe, otherwise it will get pungent in your mouth and it won't taste good. And one vanilla bean. You don't need the whole thing, but just a little scrape of it will do the trick. Dun 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 dun! So get your pie pans ready, and let's get ready to make some magical hocus pocus pumpkin pie. This pie is so easy that it literally just takes two steps to make. Our first step is that we're gonna make the crust and our crust is gonna be made out of our pecan nuts and also our dates. So I have about a pound of dates and a cup and a half of pecan nuts. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in the food processor and we are going to process them just enough until they get into like a crusty, creamy, really delicious, and ooey gooey pie crust mix. Are you ready? Let's make it. You'll notice here that I'm pulsing it because this tends to make it a little bit less gooey and you'll get stuck to the sides a little bit less when you're making it. And if you want to spice it up a little bit, you can just take a little pinch of cinnamon and you can add it into your crust. Are you ready? It smells like dates and cinnamon and ooey gooey deliciousness. And if you look at this, this crust, it looks just like a pie crust, just like that. Beautiful, look at that. To make the pie crust, what you're gonna first do is you're gonna take out the blade from your food processor, because that can be dangerous. And you're going to take your crust and you're gonna kinda just put it into your pie pan, just like this. And that way, we can start pushing it in and forming it to our pie pan. Look how beautifully this comes out when you just push it to the pan. That's it. Two simple ingredients and you have a pie crust, which is so much more amazing than all of these other pies out there that have 10 million processed ingredients and so many sugars. This is low fat. It is fully raw and so good for you. And it's the best pie crust ever. That's it. I'm patenting it. It's my fully raw pie crust. Next step is we are gonna make the pumpkin pie filling. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your freshly cut pumpkin, your pie pumpkin. By the way, these are so deliciously sweet. Just wanna say that. You're gonna put those in. You're gonna put in your dates, and guess what? You don't have to put in all of these, but if you want it to be super sweet and creamy, I recommend putting in as many as you wish. So I'm gonna put in them all because they are gonna make mine super creamy and delicious and sweet. You're going to put in your super ripe persimmon. So I'm going to take out the stem, just like this. Oh, oh gooey deliciousness. I don't think anybody saw that. And then we're just gonna smoosh it on in, just like that. We're gonna stick in our cinnamon, and you can either put in your ginger or your fresh ginger. Spice ginger, fresh ginger. I'm gonna put in the fresh one because fresh is always best. And when you're ready, 
We're gonna pulse it and we're gonna blend it until it gets super creamy because it gets really thick and it looks just like pumpkin pie filling. Oh my God. It tastes so good. Do you see this? It has that thick consistency of pumpkin pie. Do you see this? I'm gonna stick my finger in so it clicky, but look at that. Look how thick that is. Mmm. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. And for any of you guys who are asking, I give you permission to eat this whole pie yourself because guess what? It is filled with simple carbs that will keep you fueled through the day. And you know, there's like no fat in this. This is so good. This is so good. So when you're ready, you're gonna take your filling and you're gonna pour it into your pie pan. Oh my good lord. The witch's recipe is a brewin. Do you see how creamy and delicious this looks? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Swirl it on in just like that. Smooth, creamy, delicious. Don't forget to lick the blender and the spoon. Mm. So that's it. We have just made our fully raw pumpkin pie. So delicious, so fast. Two really easy steps. And I will tell you that you can eat it just like this if you want, or you can go ahead and stick it in the freezer and firm it up a little bit so that you can serve it while it's chilled. I personally like it both ways, but I will tell you that when you eat it when it's room temperature, it gets ooey and gooey and mushy all over your plate. But for this one, let's go ahead and throw it in the freezer so that we can wait a little bit and then we can eat it when it's chilled together. So we've chilled our pie for just about two or three hours. And now I've taken it and I've cut out a gorgeous slice right here. Are you ready for the final taste touch? Mmm. <laughs> it is so good, I want to cry. I'm just kidding. If you guys really like this recipe and if you love my really, really cool Rasta pumpkin pie outfit, I think you should give it a two thumbs up. <laughs> I've had the best time making this recipe for you and I've had an even better time making this video. So I thank you all for watching. If you guys need more tips and tricks or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe to my channel at Fully Raw Christina as I try and inspire you to get healthier with your family and your friends. You guys can also check out my Facebook page where I post pictures daily of what I eat and things that inspire me as well. All right, you guys, I send my hugs. Bye.